Uh, we are, we're going to send you to the Dish Tech Center and catch up with you there in just a couple of minutes. For now, let's head down to one of the guys we previously mentioned. Marcus Ambrose is with Mike Massaro. And Alan, he's a guy who impressed a lot of people in 2007, nearly got his first victory, came up a little bit short, but a year has passed. How would you compare your expectations now to where they were a year ago? Well, Speedworks is a lot more relaxed. Last year, I was just bouncing off the walls, just not knowing what to expect. So this year, you know, we know we're going to cruise around here for the first 30, 40 laps. And I just feel really happy to be ready to start a, a season without that rookie stripe and ready to really deliver the, the promise that we've shown. And a lot of knowledge has been gained over the last 12 months. What did you learn last year about this style of racing in particular that might help you today? Read your excuse book, because there's going to be lots of them out there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a crazy race, a lot of stuff's out of control, and you've just got to really get out there and get amongst it uh, when it's time to go and be patient. Patience is a virtue, but it also it's quite frustrating when you're out there. So we're going we're gonna to be patient for the first half of the race and see what happens. Well, Alan, you can have that excuse book, but when that checkered flag waves, there are no excuses and no regrets. Five car with Junior. We know uh, he's been struggling with his handling a little bit, but he's continually stayed right up there at the top, Andy. I think they've got it fit. Oh, got a tire problem here with the 59. Looks like he may have been against the wall. Yeah, this could be the caution flag that uh, Kevin Harvick would be looking for. They got a caution out for debris. Caution out for debris. Good. Just going to talk about that five car. He'd moved up 10 spots since the restart. I believe yeah. they've got that car fixed. Yeah. But this is a big break for Kevin Harvick. Uh, now, he ran in that lead pack the entire time there. So now he's going to be able to circle around, go into the pits, uh, make any changes that he wants to now because last time he had to stay out there on the racetrack. So uh, he's got to be liking uh, his chances a lot better right now. There's a debris they're talking about. Caution coming out for the second time a day here at Daytona. The uh, contact, Marcus Ambrose. Second year driver. He was the uh, rookie of the race in this event a year ago. Had a great top 20 finish. Likeable Australia now uh, limping back to the garage area, and the pace car has picked up Kyle Busch, Tony Stewart, Denny Hamlin, and company. And there is uh, the 59 car. Riding with Matt Kenseth right here, and you see, may have had a tire go down and got into the wall right here with uh, Marcus Ambrose. Does a good job not to spin fire, in front of traffic. See all that debris? Yeah, he's definitely blown a right rear tire hat. That tire blows out and it just kind of blows all that sheet metal away and uh, probably did more damage than the wall. Just took a big chunk out of that uh, Kingsford decal in the back of that 59 car. He will come in and try to get some service on Tad Geschechter's machine. Caution being shown for the third time a day. We are being told debris on the racetrack. And you see Kevin Moss, the uh, Nationwide Series flagman, waving the yellow flag. And there indeed is some sheet metal on the track. Came off the 59 car, we're being told, Marcus Ambrosian. That's the one that had the big hole in the fender from the previous tire issue. Yeah, it looks like he may have had a little more of an issue there. They black flagged him the lap before, and then this piece of sheet metal just blew off. When that tire blew out earlier, it just rips that sheet metal completely away and, and some of the wheels that were holding it. So all this uh, air, when his car's going over like 180 miles an hour, blew it right off of there. 